Right, so meron tayong pangalawang types or pangalawang category or uh, type ng ACL, yung tinatawag nating extended. Okay, so extended ACL or extended access control list. So dito naman, ginagamit natin yung number na 100 hanggang 199. Or kung kukulangin ka doon, pwede mong gamitin yung 2000 hanggang 2699. Okay, so remember ha, yung standard, di ba, 1 to 99. Okay, or... Uh, And then itong extended 100 to oh, paano ba magkasunod siya, 'di ba? Kung i-check natin. And then this one, kung si standard ACL is uh, only checking the source of the traffic, so si extended ACL it check both source and destination of packets. Okay? So dalawa siya tine-check niya kung saan galing at saka kung saan papunta yung traffic. And then it also check specific UDP or TCP or IP protocol. So yung mga ports tapos kung anong type ng communication, kung anong type ng protocol, UDP ba, TCP ba, IP ba, etc. Okay, so ito yung sample syntax niya. Access list, access uh, list number, tapos yung action niya, permit or deny. Tapos yung protocol, yung source, tapos yung source wildcard, may port operator pa tayo, source port, destination, etc. So kung makikita mo, medyo complex yung syntax ni extended ACL kasi nga bukod sa chinecheck na yung source and destination, chinecheck niya rin yung mga protocols involved. Okay, so yung yung source and destination protocols bukod pa dun sa source and destination IP addresses or subnets. Okay, and then um, we we include specific actions on those uh, source and destination IPs and source and destination protocols. Okay, so mamaya we're gonna do a demo kung paano natin mag kung paano mag-configure para makita mo yung pagkakaiba ni standard at saka ni extended ACL. Okay, malinaw? Right, so see you on the demo.